Hi, I'm back. Hey, Discover a New You family. I am pumped to give you part two <laughs> of my story, my journey. I hope it doesn't make it to, well, it, it'll probably be a part three, but we'll see. Anyway, um, so last time we spoke, I told you all about coming to this new country and all about my beginning in Mary Kay. So, and and journeys uh, so far. So I'm gonna bring you up to speed probably now um, as to where we are. OMG. So just came off of building a team, right? Which you totally helped me do. Uh, love, love, love the support that I received and the embrace. I really appreciate the kindness of others that came alongside and purchased whatever they could just to support the journey. I really appreciate that. God bless you guys. Um, so yeah, I have come out of my shell and unapologetically can go out there and talk about my God because <laughs> it makes me happy. But, um, I can't give anybody else the glory, the praise, or anything for where God has brought me from. I mean, everybody who has ever been through a divorce knows that that is not fun. Even when you are not, even when you are not wrong, because in the what, what the issue was. I was not wrong, but I was still hurt. I was so broken hearted because it was my love. It was um, uh, something I invested in that I thought would would uh, bear fruit, better fruit. And, um, and it didn't happen. So I was broken hearted, I was hurt, I was devastated, I was all over the place. But listen! If you are going to call yourself an overcomer, there's going to be some things you're going to have to overcome. And so I had to get in that mindset. I had to um, get in the word. I had to. That's how I made it. So I'm telling you up front. I got in the word daily. I um, asked God all my questions because I had a lot and I was very disappointed and I was very upset and I had long discussions with the Lord about um, why things turned out the way it was, just um, what could I have done better, where was it my fault, what was his fault, what was, um, what can I do now, what are the, the good pieces that I could pick up and run with and where do I go and all this stuff. I just had honest conversations with God and to my shock, <laughs> <laughs> I mean, a lot of us are Christians on paper, okay? And I say that to mean, I was born into a Christian family and I went to church and I went to Sunday school with my, um, my, my mother and my brothers and, you know, and so we're Christians on paper. You got a whole long line there, but then God is not really your God because you don't know him for yourself and you've had no experiences where he really brought you out and you showed up and overcame because of your faith or dependence on him. So, um... Yeah, I became a Christian in the true sense of the word, whereby I, what they say, seek after, seek, seek ye first the kingdom of God and all its righteousness. And now I think that I am reaping the rest of it that says, and everything else will be added on to you. So, um, so am I grateful? Absolutely. Absolutely. This is why I would never give it back because I would not have discovered what I was made of. I would have not seen the conqueror or the overcomer come out if I had um, stayed in that situation. Um, yeah, it was just 
a great, <laughs> it turned out to be a great experience, but it was very excruciating and crushing at the time. I mean, I listened to all the T.D. Jakes I could find. I listened to all the Creflo Dollars I could find. I listened to all the, um, this guy, uh, Tony Evans, you know, these people had wisdom to share and I was soaking it up like a sponge so um, it worked out for me so it helped me to make good choices better choices and get through each day and start again and start again so yeah after all of that God's grace <laughs> um, the faithful part you know the being faithful being consistent Standing on what you believe, reiterating what you believe, speaking what you want, um, protecting your eyes, your ears, you know, the situations you find yourself, you plant yourself in and so forth. I, there's choice. You got to show up and choose God every day. You got to show up and, and reiterate what your position is because he does not come to you to have tea but to have um to steal your stuff okay the, the bible wasn't playing when he said the devil comes to steal kill and destroy he is coming to steal your shit to uh <laughs> he is coming to destroy dismantle distract all these things take 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 from you and so you have got to wake up every day going to ready for battle before your feet hit the ground be sure i'm on the lord's side you got to know what team you're playing for then you got to wear the right uniform armor up armor up get your prayers on get your you know get your word in your heart uh reiterate it by your affirmations and and show up sword in hand mind right ready to you know slay for the day so yes i had to um i had to do all of that to be able to then sit on the other side and say well look at jesus ain't he faithful but those were some hard decisions to make consistently some days were easier than some some days were harder than some. But at the end of it all, Jesus was with me all through it. And I mean, there was no turning back. All right? Because after a while of reiterating, it becomes you. You become it. And that's just what we're doing. Right? And then he gets the message. <laughs> Resist the devil and he will flee. But the resisting has to be consistent. And it has to be, um, you got to be passionate about it. You can only get passionate after you get clear on what the vision is. So you need to know where you're going, what your what God's promises are. You know, he said, write the vision and make it plain. Be clear what you want. God said he will never leave you or forsake you. He has planted dreams and desires in your heart that if you keep stuffing them down and run into these jobs that are these dead end jobs, <laughs> we call them these jump off the bridge places, okay? You're only going to frustrate yourself and life is so short. Why not live your dream? Why not go after what God planted in your heart to do? You're going to do what everybody else expects you to do. You're going to let pride or anything else stop you from being. And by the time you're trying to be, you in a wheelchair or you're dead or something of the sort. No, don't do that. Live now. Live today. Do right by yourself today so that you can be better for others, you know. So that is where the dream of discover a new you came from. Um the fight every day and the who I became now I want my mission is to make others better women men whoever just make others better you let them know God is real and he is true and honest and cannot lie and sticks to his word everything he says in his word is so true you know one of the biggest fears that I learned Christians have even though they go out there saying they declare God is true. 
they're afraid that he won't do what he said he would do. And that's so unfortunate because if you are consistent and do the part that you can do, which is be obedient, he will show up every time. He has shown up for me in times when I just didn't even know what else. <laughs> that there was a what else. At the time when I was broken hearted and devastated over what I thought was my love and all of that. I couldn't see all the way down the road like this. I didn't. I just thought that it was over. I don't know where this train was going to go and everything. And it turned out to be a beautiful journey. A beautiful journey. I have a gorgeous daughter. Super intelligent. Super intelligent. And um, doing really great things already with her young life. And I can see God's hand in the whole thing. So and I'm telling you, uh, being on the other side of that, It's amazing to sit here now and be able to talk about it. I never thought I'd have the, at that time, I didn't think I'd have the privilege of talking about it. I didn't know it was gonna be so beautiful after consistently choosing Christ. I didn't know that I would find love again or love would find me again. But oh my God, has God shown out? Has God shown out? He has. Be clear. He has. I don't know. Oh my God. My honey now? Oh my Jesus Lord. <laughs> Without my journey, I wouldn't be right or ready for him. And that would be a tragedy. But... Because of the investment God made here, I can now enjoy what he has prepared for me. And so I can love this man with all my heart and with all of myself and not worry because God's in it, because God did it, because he did what he said he would do because he's not a liar, because I'm all in with him, you know? Um, so trusting him with myself is, is what I advise you to do. Trust God with yourself, trust God, rather than trusting anybody else, any other man, any other person, any other girl, whatever it is. People are just people, they're gonna do people things. Okay, so the best person for you to do is trust the man who's got the, trust the God that has the whole manual, know how we work <laughs> and can work all things out. Because he said he, for those that love him, everything is working in your favor. So be clear that the word of God is true. Nothing you cannot take away should be taken away from it or added to it by itself undiluted <laughs> listen listen it is true so get to know God for yourself that's my encouragement get to know God for yourself I am proud to say that has been made um that's one of the things I love about my Mary Kay because I was given the space and time to grow in the word. I was in the right environment because the ladies and the people inside of this company came around, embraced and uplifted. And that is, that is huge. So love my Mary Kay, love my Mary Kay. And a lot of only in Mary Kay. They are so priceless. So there again, another piece of my journey. <laughs> um, next, ah, I will share more, but we will see um, what else you need. What, what else? 
what other questions I can answer, what other pieces I can pull together and give you, but go out shouting and knowing God is real. He loves you for who you are, for who he created you to be and um, embrace who you are. Live your truth, live your truth so that you can have true healing and true transformations and a true and intimate relationship with him thereby being better for everybody else and being able to get the vertical right so you can get the horizontal correct okay so that is my encouragement today i hope it works for you man jump on top of it because hey life's short discover a new you at marykay.com slash discover you 100